Hello, this is Mark Tucker from Voice XP with the Alexa quick tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about handlers. Uh, I went ahead and used the Ask CLI to create a brand new project, just uh, the basic Hello World project that they have. And uh, if you look at the top of the index.js file, you can see the Ask SDK core, which will let you know that you're using the Alexa skills kit for Node.js version two. Now there have been some changes in this uh, template uh, specifically with this new SDK, then it handles uh, handlers a little bit differently. So instead of a single function uh, for each handler, there is actually multiple functions. One is the can handle and the handle. And in this example, and in, in, in the starter template, then all of these handlers are inside the index.js file. And uh, that's, that's just fine for a starter template, but what we probably want to do is start uh, structuring our project uh, so that uh, we can start splitting out uh, some code. So I'm going to go ahead and create a handlers folder. And the idea being is that we're going to go ahead and move some of these things over into their own handler. Uh, so let's just go ahead and pick this first one, the launch request handler. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new file here. And that's going to be launch request handler.js. And what we're going to do with that is, uh, we're going to just go ahead and take this whole thing over and put that in here. But what we're going to have to do is what we need is um, we need to export that out uh, so that it's available someplace else. So we can require it into, um, into the other file that we need. So exports, it's going to equal that uh, launch request handler there. So that's uh, into a separate file. Now what we can do is uh, in here, we can go ahead and comment that out. We don't need it anymore, but in order to access it down here, it's no longer uh, right where uh, it uh, we expect it to be. So what we're going to do is we have to require that. And so we're going to say it, that this is going to require this. And then <clears throat> um, we can go into the handlers and into this, uh, sorry, this handler file. And so we can go ahead and get rid of that. And now we have externalized that, uh, that handler into its own file. And, uh, and that works and, and there, there'll probably be situations where you want to go ahead and do that. And, but what this ends up then doing is that you have one handler per file and, uh, that, that works just fine. Um, but what if you wanted to have more than one of these handlers per file, what would you do? So let's go ahead and, uh, create a new file and we're going to call this, uh, more handlers. You can, you'll, you'd probably name this by some sort of feature set and group things together by feature set, but uh, let's go ahead and do that. And what we're going to do is let's grab this next one out of here and uh, we're going to go ahead and put that in here. But what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into an array and uh, there we go, that should uh, give us what we want there. And and we're just gonna change this into handlers, plural. And, uh, sorry, what was the name of that one? That was the hello, yeah. So let's add a comment there. And then we'll change this to handlers. Good. Um, so then we still have to do our module.exports. equals handlers. There we go. So now we can have more than one and let's just go ahead and start uh, moving those over. So we'll do this and uh, we've commented that one out. We've already used that. Let's do this next one. Here we're going to grab that down here. It's going to be the help intent. Go ahead and grab that. And 
and you can just keep adding adding them to this file here so um, oh, that's a little confusing we don't need that we don't need that there we go so um, for the help intent uh, handler then we've got the can handle and the handle and that's grouped together as one item in this array and the same with that so then what do we do uh, to go ahead and make use of that in here so uh, we don't know uh, the hello and the help were externalized someplace else so let's move those uh, comment those out but what we can do is we can use the new um, spread operator which uh, takes these different elements in the array and spreads them out as if they're individual parameters passed to this add request handler and so we're just going to go ahead and do a require of this new um, handlers more handlers and so now with this uh, what we've been able to do up oh, and we need a comma there is to go ahead and we can uh, either see how we can keep handlers in the index.js file which uh, is this probably a short-term solution we have the option of doing one handler per, per file and that would just be requiring a certain uh, that one specific one in and that's just uh, a single object that we're exporting in and there'd be one per file or we can group multiple of these handlers in, in an array and then require them in to that uh, that same uh, add request handlers and uh, then over time we can just move all these out of here and the only thing that would be and we can do the same thing for the add error handlers uh, you can add multiple error handlers just have like an error handlers.js file that would have all that in there and uh, what that would do is that would clean up this index.js so that it's just the basics of uh, setting up the, the project, but none of these handlers would be there and it would just be this main section here and then you would be able to go into uh, a specific handlers folder or a folder for per feature and look at the, uh, the handlers that were related to that feature. So that is the quick uh, tip for today. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.